So this is the SunSafe project. I've done a few videos on this before, but this is sort of a roundup. The idea is that it's a personal solar safety light. Now it could be used on a person's backpack as seen in this image here, or it could be put on a dog collar or on anything where you want it to be visible at night. The solar safety light isn't meant to illuminate your way. It's not meant to light up things around you. What it's meant to do is provide an indicator for others around you, for car, people in cars, for people walking, or to show you where your kids are, your pets are. Now the solar safety light is pretty simple. I mean, you could easily compare it to something like a solar garden light. It's a very similar design, however, it has a very different purpose. It's a pretty simple project that involves just a couple of AA batteries, a solar panel, 12 LEDs, a some kind of case, waterproof preferably, and a diode to ensure that the batteries don't drain out into the solar panel. It's very, very simple. I wanted it to be a sealed construction so that you didn't need to take the batteries out and replace them. It would be very cheap to make so that if it broke, you could always rip out the batteries in the solar panel and start again. And I wanted it to be measured so I knew how long it would last. What was the minimum time that you could expect this to be illuminated for? So the SunSafe uses 500 to 600 microamps per hour, depending on the battery voltage which is great. It means it will last a really, really long time and it doesn't need to take in a lot of power from the solar panel. Being in the UK, I know that we don't get a lot of great sunshine. Any kind of sunshine that you get, you want, it, want to take advantage of that. I know that those LEDs won't take a lot to, to illuminate and any illumination is better than no illumination when we're talking about safety. Now I've moved on from the original prototype, which I really enjoyed making and is still working, but I've moved on from that and I've created a 3D printed case for it. So my next challenge will be fitting all the parts inside, fingers crossed I've measured everything correctly, and making it in some way water resistant. 